There is a guy, his name is Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah, yeah, he's here. Let me call him. He's trying to call. Answer, Abdullah, answer. Are you going to answer or not? See what they was going to do? They call me when I'm talking. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, my friend. How are you? Good. How are you? They call me when I'm talking. Okay. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Mute you too, please. Um. So, uh, how are you, my friend? I'm very good. Okay. Thank, go thank God for 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 being who I am. All right. Um. I just wanted uh, to. Clara, clarify something. Hmm. Are you a Muslim first? Yes, I am. How you, okay? Are, do you have knowledge about Islam? Yes, I, I'm a. I'm a. I call myself a layman, but I have some knowledge. You have. You call yourself your what? A layman. Layman. What does that mean? A layman is someone who, who's not like a super knowledgeable, but they have some knowledge. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Layman, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. So what um so what you said about like in your argument right here mm. that uh that the prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that a a a, a black a man from Utopia will de demolish the Kaaba yes yeah so what i wanted to say about that is that's that's not being racist. That's just stating a fact that will happen. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Who is the one who tried to destroy the Kaaba first time? Isn't he Ethiopian too? The first time? Hmm. Where the Allah, he sent the army of the, uh, he to face the army of the elephant. According to your, to your Muslims, according to your prophet, he is from Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how come how how come your prophet is stuck with Africa and that they are the one who will destroy the house of Allah, when the fact the, when the fact is the one who destroyed the house of Allah was white man. What do you mean it was a white man? Al Qurmati. Al Qurmati is a white Arab man. He is not an African. He is not from Ethiopia. He destroyed the black the, the Kaaba. He screamed in the middle of the Kaaba saying, "Where are you, Allah? Where is the where is the birds? It's a big fat lie." And then he took the black stone and he used it as a purple stone for more than 21 years. So your prophet prophecy is a false prophecy. The one who took the black stone was a white man and his name is Al-Qurmati. And not only that, the Muslims, in order to get the black stone back, they have to bribe him. They contacted with Hakim bi Amrullah al-Fatimi, the caliphate of Egypt, who was a Shia. And they asked him, can you please talk to Al-Qurmati so he can, we can get the black stone back? Because now we have no Kaaba and we have no black stone. How we can worship Allah? So they bribe him, they give him money, and then he send him back the black stone. Yes or no? Okay, I wanted to tell you something. Tell me something. I like something always. Yeah, whether mm. the Kaaba is there or it's not there, mm. uh, we we it doesn't matter to us because Allah is always there to worship. Mm. This is not the question. Allah, he said in the chapter of the elephant that Allah protect the Kaaba from an army of the Ethiopian. They came with their elephant. Why they are Ethiopian and why he focused Muhammad that even in the future an Ethiopian will come and they destroy it for real. And but why Muhammad did not prophesy that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a white Arab man and he will take the black stone. And where is the elephant? How come Allah protected the, the Kaaba first time? But he didn't want to protect it when Al-Qurmati he came. And al Qurmati not only he destroyed the Kaaba, he was screaming to Allah. He says, where are the elephant? Where is their birds? Where is your protection? Huh? Where? He challenged Allah in the middle of the Kaaba. At that time, a lot of people left Islam because they noticed that this Kaaba is nothing but a fairy tale story and the Kaaba is protected and the Kaaba story is nothing but the garbage. So now explain to me how al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba when the chapter of the elephant, you heard of the chapter of the elephant before? Yes. Okay. The chapter of the elephant is about an army of elephant came to destroy the Kaaba. Ready, I read it. Yeah. Okay. 
So how Allah He protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba was surrounded by idols, but Allah don't protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba have only Muslims and the guy He killed more than ten thousand Muslim around the Kaaba, ten thousand, and Allah did not send His birds. No, the the army was destroyed before reaching Mecca. No problem, but the the army of Al Qurmi not destroyed. He took Mecca. He killed ten thousand people in Mecca, and he took the black stone. So the lie here in the chapter of the elephant, chapter 105, about an army who come to destroy the Kaaba and Allah, he sent his birds, F-16 birds, it was a lie. It's not a lie. So why he did not send his bird to defend the Muslims when the, he came to destroy the Kaaba? And the guy not only destroyed the Kaaba, he was screaming, saying, Allah, hey, where are you making fun of Allah? What is your birds? Is if this is not the time to send the birds where Allah he need to send the birds a guy challenging Allah in the middle of the Kaaba and he don't have his foot see, over the black stone Don't you see? Uh, uh, chapter 105 verse number three and he sent against them flights of birds. Okay. Well, so I'm saying where is the birds? Where is the birds when al Qurmuti he came and he destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone are you listening my friend? Where is the birds which is in the chapter of 105? Which came to fight the elephant army why Allah did not send his birds to fight that army Which is the army of al qurmuti who destroyed the Kaaba make fun of Al-Kaaba and he decided that Al-Kaaba We do not need it. It's a stupid thing. It's a pagan I'll, uh, Wait, let me just clarify here. Who's al qurmuti al qurmuti You see you are a person you told me you are a lame you are what lame lame and not what a layman. Layman, layman sorry if excuse my English you are a layman. I look like your layman is not working you, if you don't know what Al-Qurmati go right now and search in YouTube, you will see many Islamic scholars speaking about how Al-Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba and he was screaming saying, Allah, what is your bird? <laughs> what is your bird? Huh? What is your bird? It's a lie. So if you do not know, this is your business. Now, as long as we are talking about this chapter of the elephant, have you ever heard of an army of elephant walking in the desert? Yeah, how they can survive. Do you know how much how much water an elephant he need every day? A lot of water. Okay, how then they can come all the way to Mecca without that water? If if God decrees something it will happen my without... friend are they the, the army of God or the army of the enemy? So Allah he provide them water you are saying to me Oh, you're talking because the enemies had elephants, right? Yes, the enemy have elephants. So how the army of the elephant, which is the enemy of Allah, they can come all the way in the desert with no water. Do you know al Rabu al Khali? The area if they want to come from the side of Ethiopia, they have to go through al Rabu al Khali, which means the empty quarter. The reason it's called empty quarter because there's no water. No, nothing can survive there. It's dead. It is just. A golden sand very fine even if you walk in it your feet will go down in the sand so how in the world an, an, an army of elephant can go there they probably had lots of supplies with water because absolutely guys they have supply of water how that can be man I mean are you kidding me supply of water walking in the desert with elephant they need yeah. 600 liter of water a day for every elephant My friend, they they're listen. Listen, I will be merciful to you. I will change the topic. I want you to tell me nothing to prove to me. Islam is from God. Do you see the picture for uh, in front of us in the in the in the in the screen? Yeah. Your prophet he kissed the black stone. Why? Because the black stone came from heaven. Okay, and if the black stone came from heaven, we kiss it. Uh, yeah, he kissed it because it came from heaven. So that's why, um, it's. Everyone when they see the black stone they kiss it. So what does that mean the black stone is holy? It's it's not necessarily holy. It's it ju it's just the fact that it is it came from is it thing. dirty? Is it dirty then? No, so why you kiss it? Why he kiss it if it's not holy? Because it came from heaven. Okay, so what if it's came heaven? if we have tons of rocks filled every night from the space? So why are, are we going space, to uh, you can't compare space to heaven? Oh, what is heaven? What is heaven for you? Heaven is created by God that hmm. the eye can't, that the brain can't even imagine. So in the heaven of Allah, he have a lot of rocks like those? 
I don't know. I don't know about. Do you see the Do you see the screen with me? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you see what are we talking about? Yeah. Which one of the Which one of the images you see in front of you is the black stone? This one in the right or this one in the left? The one in the right. Not true. The one in the left is that true black stone. Those are eight black stones, small, tiny ones. So you, you how you say that Allah He sent this from heaven? This is stupid. How in the world? That you find those stones to be sent from heaven. Read with look, look with me carefully, my friend. Stone number one, stone number two, stone number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little tiny stones and they don't even match in color. How those are sent from heaven? My friend, you're mixing apples with oranges. Hmm. How is that? Because just because they're different in color doesn't mean they don't come from heaven. Okay, no problem. But how how we have them? How you call it a black stone? We should call it the black stones, and they are not black. Actually, you will see that some of them they are black, some of them they are not. Now, how you know that those little tiny stones are sent from heaven? Because it's been said. But who? Wait, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the the hadith, okay? Hmm. The, the hadith says that Allah He sent down eight little tiny stones. Not, it might no. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, it says in if you go to uh, sunnah.com, it says in uh, and you search up the black stone, it'll it'll pop up. Oof, that's deep. Okay, and. Yeah, and it says the black stone is from paradise. Okay, and what does this have to do with my question? It says that the black stone is from paradise, but it's not a stone as you see. It's a small, tiny stones. So this hadith is going to be, going to be true. The hadith you mentioned to me, it says the black stone. First of all, they are not black. Secondly, they are small, tiny, and they are not really in the same color. So how it says a black stone, but they are stones. And how it says it's coming from heaven, and Allah, he sent you a little tiny thing. This is from heaven? And this is what is making the Kaaba holy now. Those little tiny ones. Those what is that? Those are the teeth of of a, of a baby child who lost his teeth. How this is going to be a holy stone? Why? Why the prophet he said, "You said to me it is coming from heaven." So so what? Let us say it's coming even from under under the ass of Allah. So why would I kiss it? It's a stone. You're very, you're, sir, you're very disrespectful. I don't I respect. You know no, I don't respect my friend. I'm an Arab. We Arab. We don't respect anything. In case you do not know, I'm an Arab. Oh, you are an Arab. Yes, uh, sadly, but I can't do. I can't change that. Okay. So now I'm asking you, why your prophet kiss it? They are little tiny stones, and is it is it true that your prophet he says that uh, the the black stone is going to have eyes, is going to witness that, in the judgment day? That it's going to have eyes. Yes. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, you said to me you have a lot, you have knowledge. Look like you don't know nothing, I said anything. I have some knowledge. I said I have some. Ah, you have some. I like your some anyway. So, my friend. So, when your prophet he said that the black stone is going to have eyes, and is going to witness for you, in the heaven of Allah, or the sorry, in the judgment day of Allah. Does that mean the black stone is an assistant for Allah? Okay, look, I'm gonna wait. Wait, what was your question? <laughs> is this black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day and as an assistant for Allah? Why the black stone need to witness for you in the judgment day? You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, why the black stone?